Hi everyone, so I wanted to do an introduction for today's video. Uh, I'm trying not to make this too, too long. This video is already much longer than my typical video, but it's a really important video um, that I really wanted to make and it is the journey of Audrey's open heart surgery. So if you're new here, my name is Lindsay and I'm a mom of four. My husband and I have four children together, um, two boys and we have two girls and Audrey is our oldest daughter and she's five years old. So Audrey has, or had, um, I'm recording this introduction after the fact, um, but Audrey recently had open heart surgery for a hole in her heart. And people often ask me, um, did you know that she had to have open heart surgery? Did you always know that and, um, and why? So we always knew that she had a hole in her heart. We've known that since she was very, very small. And we were told that sometimes these things close over on their own and sometimes they don't. And unfortunately, Audrey's didn't. So, um, but we didn't know that she would need open heart surgery until April of this year. So Audrey, we took Audrey to Halifax. She had her surgery done at the IWK in Halifax, which is about five hours from home. Um, we had her there in April. They were going to do what's called a transcatheter repair to try and fix this hole in her heart. Um, which would be which would have been a much much less invasive um, procedure, um, but anyway, unfortunately for Audrey, just due to the structure of her heart, it uh, it didn't work out that way. So she just wasn't meant to have it done that way, and open heart surgery was the only way to have the hole um, fixed. So yes, we did always know that it was there, but we didn't know that she would require open heart surgery. So when we found out in April, um, you know, when we went to Halifax in April and then came back. I'm um, knowing that she would have to have open heart surgery. Life has just been a roller coaster um, since then. It's been, you know, we've had dates given to us for surgery and then they've been taken away. Um, then, you know, trying to keep Audrey healthy and then they wanted her to be healthy for six weeks prior to the surgery. And just with school starting, it was just, it was really tough. And it was a lot mentally. It was a lot on our hearts. It was, um, it was a big thing to go through. But um, anyway, it was really important to me to make this video for Audrey so that she could watch it, you know, um, now and years down the road. And she'll always be able to remember and look back at the really brave thing that she had to do when she was just five years old. And maybe this video will find somebody, another mom or another family who's maybe going through a similar surgery um, with their child and um, maybe it can give you some encouragement. Audrey is doing amazing now. Like I said, I'm recording this um, after the fact and we're back home now and she's doing, she's doing amazing. But it was, um, it was a big thing for our family to go through and um, it, was, it was just a lot. But anyway, um, so I'm making this video for Audrey and um, I just, I hope you enjoy watching it. So we're on our way to Halifax. We just left Walmart. Did you want to show everybody what you got at Walmart, Audrey?
giant pumpkin, Audrey? That's huge. Go push the button. Yeah, you can win that far. Take us somewhere. So I thought I would come on and do a little bit of a voiceover for this part of the video. So this was Audrey's pre-op day, as you saw. So it was a long day for everybody. It was about five hours of being at the hospital. There was lots of meetings with doctors, um, anesthesiologists, um, child life come in to talk to her, and there are a group of people that come in and talk to kids who are I'm staying at the hospital and they just try and make their stay a little less scary. They show them, you know, IVs and oxygen masks. They showed out some pictures of the OR and what it looked like inside, um, you know, just to make their stay a little less scary. Audrey had to have blood work done on this day. Uh, she was really nervous for that and um, Dave and I were really nervous for her. She didn't like it, but she got through it and she did awesome. Um, we brought books and toys and stuff for her too to try and keep her busy. By this um, part of the day, she was getting tired and restless of being there. Um, we were, um, we had just finished seeing the doctor at this point, I believe. And, um, he was so, so nice. I just loved him and he made, you know, the effort to make sure that he, um, made her laugh and kind of, you know, made sure that she was comfortable with him. He was so nice, but he had showed us this diagram and showed us exactly where the hole was in Audrey's heart and how he was going to fix it. And, um, at this point now, I think we are just getting ready to wait for her x-ray and there she is waiting for x-ray. This was the last thing that she had to do on this day. Um, she was just a little trooper. Ha, <laughs> 
pretty cute. Yeah, it sounds like it. So here we are back at the pool again for one final swim. We just wanted Andrea to have all the fun that she could have before her surgery. Um, her surgery would be tomorrow morning. Um, so there she is in the splash pad. Um, I remember this night was hard. Um, she, after we came back from swimming, um, I had to wipe her down with these wipes, which I'll tell you about in a second. Um, she had to have a shower, and then two hours later, we wiped down with the wipes, and she did not like it. It broke my heart just having to do it. Um, she didn't sleep this night. I remember her saying, Mommy, I can't fall asleep because every time I close my eyes, all I can think of it is a surgery, and I felt the exact same way. The next morning, it was 4.40 that we had set our alarms, and I did not want to wake up. Yeah. She was sleeping so soundly, and all I could think was when she wakes up, she's going to have to go through something really, really hard. I know we sound so positive in the video, and we were, but this was tough. Good morning. It is quarter after five. I'm whispering because Andre is still asleep. Today is her surgery day. I have to wake her up soon and wipe her down with these wipes. So I have to wipe down her whole body, basically, as an extra layer of disinfectant. She's still asleep. I have to wake her up and she's not going to be happy about being woken up and uh, having to be wiped down. I had to do it last night before bed and uh, she was itchy and um, she had to have a shower and get all washed and then she had to have the wipes. She had to have her entire body wiped down two hours after the shower. So anyway, today is the big day so we'll uh, keep you posted. All right, we're here. Today's a big day. There's our brave girl. Hey, Audrey. Just like that. That was right. She had her mask on. Oh, it is 6 a.m. Uh, we have to be get in and get registered and everything um, for 6.15 a.m. So anyway, everything is going well so far. Audrey stopped crying. She's nervous, but uh, she's been doing awesome, and we're so, so proud of her. So... We're going to go in and get registered, and uh, we'll um, see you from there, I guess. Mommy sounds so pleasant. <laughs> if I did a video, what, Audrey? We've waited a long time for Audrey to have this surgery. We've been waiting months and months and months, and it got rescheduled for... Um, circumstances beyond our control and then colds and sickness but anyway we're finally gonna have it done and it's gonna be behind her and we're ready it is early nobody is around here I feel like we're the only ones in here I don't know if you can hear me or not. Who's your favorite, Audrey? Who's your favorite? Purple. Purple. It's pretty cute. You made a good choice, didn't you? Who's here? So I debated whether to do a voiceover for this part of the video or not, but we are just waiting here for the team to come and take her to the OR. She's done everything that she had to do to prep for her surgery, and um, she's feeling really nervous and scared at this point, and our anxieties are running high. Um, they gave Barbara this iPad so she could watch something on to kind of distract herself, but she's, um, she's feeling pretty nervous. Um, here they have given her a sedative to help her relax, so they said that she wouldn't remember even going to the OR. So we have a snuggle for a little bit while that kicks in and then I get her tucked in bed there and we give her a kiss and a hug, tell her how much we love her, tell her how proud we are of her and you'll see them take her to the OR in a second here. So it is about 11 o'clock. 
Audrey is in surgery. Um, she's been in there for a few hours now, um, but it takes some time for them just to get her, um, you know, hooked up to everything and machines going and everything. We just got moved to a um, to the PICU, so the Pediatrics Intensive Care Unit, and uh, it's quite nice here. For those of you who don't know, Audrey is here for open heart surgery. Um, she has a hole in her heart that they were going to try and repair another way, and due to the structure of Audrey's heart, they couldn't do that, so um, open heart surgery was the only other way that they could do it. Um, so we're here, and um, we came up, today is Tuesday, we came up on Sunday, she had a pre-op yesterday, and surgery today, so um, hopefully we will know a little bit more. Um, by lunchtime, the nurse was just in and told us that um, so far everything is going really well, so that's good. Um, they just moved us to this new um, unit here. So we are in the, um, the PICU family room, so the pediatric intensive care unit. So this is like the family room, so we've just watching some TV, but it's more comfortable seating down here. There's a whole kitchen and fridges that you can go and store your own food in and coffee. There's computers over here and a phone, a printer. But the best part of all is there's laundry. We don't know how long we're going to be here. Um, the typical stays three to five days, um, so we're happy to be able to do laundry. Um, Audrey's stay might be a little bit longer just because she's had a bit of a runny nose, so they said that that might um, you know, keep us in here a couple days longer, but that's okay as long as she has her surgery, gets that behind her, and does well with her recovery. Um, we can handle an extra day or two in the hospital. So anyway, um, so she's... Um, the doctor said that we should hear something around 12 or 12.30. I'm not sure what time is it now, Dave. 20 to 12. So it's 20 to 12 now, so hopefully we'll hear something within the next um, half hour or hour. Um, they're running ahead of schedule, they said, so they said she might even finish an hour earlier than they expected. So, fingers crossed. Um, you know, things are going well, so that's all we can, you know, we're grateful for that, and we'll keep you posted. So the doctor was just in, Audrey's surgery is done, and it went really well, and she's doing good. She's, they still have to get um, the tube, her breathing tube out, and get her in the ICU and everything, but they figure that within the hour we should be able to go and see her. So we're super happy that everything went really well, and I uh, just can't wait to see my girl. You're extra thirsty, aren't you? Mom's girl. You're going to read about Biscuit? I think the plan is to stay in here for a little bit. Good morning, Audrey. You want to say good morning? Good morning. Hmm? You have a little smile? There's a little smile. What are you waiting for? What's the nurse going to bring you? She's going to bring you some juice. So it's day two. Audrey had her surgery yesterday, so the nurse is going to get her some juice. She threw up a few times last night, but she's going to start feeling better and better every day, are eh, Audrey? Yeah. You're one brave little girl. Uh. 
Good job, Audrey. Put this on this side. This is so awesome. Nope, you have lots of room. We're gonna see if you can stand for like five seconds. We'll see how it goes. If you don't like it, we'll sit you back down. Okay? Mm -hmm. Wiggle your toes. Yeah. Wiggle your toes. Wow, good job. Can you kick your legs a little? Wow, good job. Great job, Audrey. You can do a quick stand for us if we lift you down. Amazing. All right, that's what we're going to do. We're going to scoop under your bottom so we don't want to go underneath your arms for a while. All right. You can hug me too if you get scared, okay? Grab onto me. <gasps> Whoa. Wow! Yay, Audrey! All by yourself. Amazing! She's like, I'm standing. I've been doing this forever. Give me a thumbs up. Can you give them a thumbs up? Give me a thumbs up. Can you give a thumbs up? She's focused. She's like, yeah. focused. <laughs> okay. Do you want to sit back down? Do you want to sit back down? Good job. Yes. Probably feels weird. Does it feel weird to stand, Audrey? So Audrey is doing good. She just got her chest tube out. They had to give her a sedative to um, to do that because I had to stitch the hole. So she's a little a little groggy, but she's going to be coming out of the ICU today, and she's going to be moved up to the floor. So that's really exciting to get out of the ICU. She had a couple of lines removed, so it's all uh, all steps closer to going home they're going to take her up to the floor and she's going to have be able to have something to eat and I think the plan is to um, get her up so Audrey is doing really really well she is uh, meeting all the milestones that they um, expected she's doing awesome she's such a little trooper she's gonna go upstairs she's gonna be able to have something to eat soon and they have some toys up there and um, they brought her a craft they thought that maybe she could work on a little craft if she felt up to it. So, um, really exciting. She's doing really well. Anything to say? She's doing good. <laughs> does, does your doggy like bubbles too? Okay, doggy, we're going to make big bubbles. Okay, here we go. Did it pop in your blanket? Papa, you don't know how to bust it. You busted it with your nose. Watch, I'll bust it with my nose too. Ready? Wait, Papa's come back. I got my face. Do I have bubbles on my face now? I don't. Oh, should I put more bubbles on my face? Okay, let's do that. First, we dip, dip, dip. Oh, here we go. Ready? One, two, three. Oh. Oh. Is it on my face now? Oh, I flat. Oh, Audrey's having her first meal. How are your Rice Krispies, Audrey? Audrey? How are your Rice Krispies? Audrey is out of the ICU and she's up on the seventh floor. Hey Audrey, we're out for a walk. We're checking out the view. Our old room was right below us.
Are you feeling good, Audrey? Should we start working our way back? This is a long walk, isn't it? This table's wild. Mom, look, we're using all the same color. Yeah. Because spice Her dress is beautiful. Audrey, when was the last time that you brushed your teeth? I didn't brush my teeth yesterday. Did you brush them yesterday? What about the day before that? <laughs> Have you brushed them all since you've been in this building? <laughs> How's your breath? What? It's good? Does it? That's because you just had some apple juice, eh? Want to show them your beautiful picture? You did a great job, didn't you? Coloring your princess. Are you a happy girl today? Are you sore? That's good. Look at me. Love you. You got a smile? There she is. Um, what? What? Um, what? Brown, brown. Oh. We are two days post-op. Today's Thursday. Audrey had her surgery Tuesday morning. How are you feeling, Audrey? Good. Can you look at me? How are you feeling? Good. That's good. You're looking good. We're down for a walk. She's not hooked up to anything. She just has her little stickers on her chest so that they can watch her around heart rate down at the desk. So she has to carry her. Do you want to show them what you're carrying? No. No? Happy. What? It's heavy. Do you want to put it down? You can put it on the shelf. Yeah, you can put it there on the ledge. So we're down here for a walk to take in some of the view because we don't have a view from our room. But Audrey's doing great. She's feeling good. She's eating. We're hoping to get home within the next day or two. Hey, Audrey. You want to go home? How's your craft going, Audrey? Good. I'm just working on some Halloween crafts. Oh, what big, oh, what big things happening today? We're going home. We're what? Going home. We're going home. We've received word that Audrey can go home today. We're so excited. Big day, eh, Audrey? I can't believe that the surgery's behind us, and we're just on the recovering side of stuff. Well, actually, we probably have to go home for a week. We're going to go home eh, and stay there. You excited? Yeah. yeah. 
so we're just waiting for a few more things to finish up some paperwork and we'll be busting out of here you excited of course <laughs> can't wait all right, we are done. We are out of the hospital. Uh, the husband came to go. We're in the van, and they gave her this present. And the nurse told us that um, a family from Newfoundland drops off these gifts every year because their little boy had the same surgery as Audrey. And on his birthday every year, they give these these presents. They donate them to the hospital for kids who had surgery. So do you want to open yours and see what it is? A okay. notebook. Some treats. Ooh, gummy bears. Gummy bears. You like gummy bears. Granola bar. Church candy. A nice pen. And I think this is a letter from the family. I have to read that Nothing else. Isn't that nice? You want to open Very this? Kind. That is super kind. Really, really thoughtful. Oh. What did you get? A special mug. A special cup. And what you have on it. You make all the difference. There's your heart rhythm. Isn't that nice? And it comes with a nice strap for it. Ah, that's really, really nice, Audrey. What a thoughtful thing. And everybody who gets that surgery gets that same gift. Do you like it? Yeah. It came with a straw, so straw you'll be able to use it. Yeah, and that little girl that you met in the hospital still get one of those, too. That was very thoughtful. She will get the same thing as me. Yep. How's the snacks? Is that? What are you eating this time? What are you eating this time? Fruit candy. The last time we drove this highway, Audrey, we had a completely different feeling, didn't we? We were a little bit scared and nervous. Yeah. 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 We were a little bit scared and nervous. Oh, we got your new sunglasses. Yeah, put them on. Looking good. Smile. Audrey, <laughs> what's mom doing? Shopping. Shopping. She's running in for a few things. Yeah. I think it's better we stay out here, eh? What are you watching? Gabby Stall House. Gabby Stall House. Do you remember going to the OR? I don't think so. You know what an OR is? No. Do you remember going where they gave you the surgery? The operating room, what it stands for. Do you don't remember going? Remember me putting you on the bed and then they wheeled you down? Do ya? Yeah, because they gave you some medicine to keep you calm. It made you sleepy. Yeah. That. You did say you felt dizzy. You know why they did that? Why? So that you wouldn't feel them take out that little tube. Yeah. Why? 
Yeah, you had a tube inside your belly. So they did that for buried the not you? Yeah. And yeah. I watched them take it out and I watched them sew the hole back together. Yucky. That's why you have a band-aid. Doctors are really good at what they do, aren't they? I probably would have, but I was scared I was going to faint, so I didn't much. <laughs> Nobody had time to pick Daddy up off the floor. They had to focus on no, you. No, we're too busy working on you. Cheers to what, Audrey? <laughs> Cheers to, uh, to your surgery being a success. Cheers. Cheers. All done. All done. Audrey, this might be the last stop at Tim Hortons of the trip. What are you doing over there? You waiting for daddy? <laughs> Mom's girl. Yeah. I really do. Oh, look! I'm gonna cry. The roof looks good. We got balloons. Oh, look, Audrey! Look, look what they have for you. Aww. It says, Welcome home, Audrey. Oh, I'm gonna cry with the signs! I didn't cry the whole time. Hi, Ben. Hi, Iron Man. <laughs> Excited, Audrey? <laughs> Come on. Here comes Ben. You happy to see her? Come. Hi. <laughs> 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 Save that one for you guys. No, you can't pick her up. You can't pick her up. Oh my god. No, you can't. Here, crouch down and give her a hug. You forgot, didn't you? Yeah. Be hard for to remember. Ice cream. Oh, look, Emma. 
No, Audrey, it's okay. You it's can't lift any you, you can't lift anything over five pounds. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little journey of Audrey's and thank you to all of you who have reached out and sent messages of encouragement and have, you know, asked how she's doing and prayed for her and wished her a speedy recovery. Um, she is home and she's doing amazing, but I wanted to show you um, this. It's a toonie and the doctor said that this was the size of the hole in Audrey's heart. I'm trying to hold it up so that you can see the size. He said that it was a really large hole. So we are just so happy that Audrey um, is doing well and this is all behind her now. Um, the staff and everybody at the IWK is just amazing. We're just so grateful that she could be there. She's looking at herself with the camera mm -hmm. now. Um, we're just so grateful for everybody there. They are so amazing at what they do. And um, as scary as it was, um, I knew that we were in great hands. Audrey had an amazing doctor and just everybody up there is just really incredible. So are you doing good now, Audrey? Was your surgery, how do you feel now? Good. Do you? That's good. Are you glad that it's all behind you? Want we'll to look at the camera? Oh. Are you glad that it's all done? Was it scary having open heart surgery? No? Wasn't scary yeah. at all? You got to sleep through it all. Anyway, so we are doing well. We are actually, we have an appointment here in a few minutes. We're going to head out to go pick up a heart monitor. Um, we're going to pick that up and uh, the um, doctor in Halifax will be able to watch Audrey's um, heart rhythm from Halifax um, from here. So that's kind of interesting. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Um, like I said, I know this video was long, um, but it was... Uh, just definitely a different video and one that um just one one to remember i guess so anyway um thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time